We've been visiting the 2020 presidential candidates on their home turf, but that's a lot of effort. Yeah, so fuck that. We had one of them come to us. We took South Bend own Mayor Pete to Mama Sushi uptown for some sushi and some hooks. Hey, what up, Bodega Boys live from Uptown, and we're here with the homie Mayor Pete in the building. All right, now we told you there's no gotcha questions in this. We lied. You are the mayor of where? South Bend, Indiana. I want you to look to the camera, and I want you to apologize for the actions of one Reggie Miller. All right. <laughs> Miller open again. Boom, baby! Reggie Miller! I, Pete Buttigieg, am not responsible for Reggie Miller. Also Thank Roy you. Hibbert. Roy. <laughs> <laughs> any, any other people we got over there? So from South Bend to Dykeman, we're uptown now. Yes. Welcome to Mama Sushi, a fine establishment that is a Dominican-Asian fusion restaurant. Do you not think we have that in South Bend just yet? Traditionally, we start with a little hooks, you know what I'm saying? Hookah, a little bit the of traditional you know I'm food of Dominicans? That's right, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's a cleanser palate. There's a thousand people running right now for the Democratic <laughs> nomination. Yeah, seriously, what I, makes you stand out from the other? Well, I'm definitely the only, you know, Episcopalian, Maltese, American, gay war veteran mayor running. So I got that going for me. Damn, Twi that's like Twitter bio is like, 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 whoa! It's hyphen, 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 yeah. hyphen. No, I think the big thing is just uh, I've got a different life experience, right? As right. somebody who grew up in the industrial Midwest, somebody who's experienced in government, but not so much the Washington side of things as the on-the-ground local government, you got to deliver side of government. Right. Yeah. You recently yeah. did a Fox News town hall. Yeah. Do you feel that it was beneficial? I mean, I understand why a lot of people in my party are very skeptical of Fox News. Right. Uh, I mean, the stuff that goes on, especially on the opinion side. Right. That's why I felt like I had to go on Fox News and talk about that. Uh, and also get our message out. Because that's another thing you learn as mayor, right? Like you never say something to one group that you'd be embarrassed to have, to have repeated to another group because right. they're going to find out and right. then they're going to ask you which is which. Especially now where everybody has a camera phone and there's Twitter and like so Instagram. Absolutely. It's like, Mayor Pete said this here and right. then he said this over here. Yeah. Hey. Ooh, look at that. Hey. <laughs> wow, what's this one? Chapeadora. Uh, Chapeadora. <laughs> Chapeadora is like a... It is a uh, slang term, a Dominican slang term, for a woman who is looking to... Uh, how do I say it? Like... Uh, how about you don't? How about you don't? No, no, no just, 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 I'll use my imagination. Tank it, tank it. <laughs> You're multilingual, right? Sorry. That's a lot of... No, no. <laughs> we can talk with our mouth full. Yeah, it's cool. showtime. Cool. Yeah, so, like, my French is good enough. I can read the newspaper. No problem. Spanish. Un poquito. Te lo encuentro un poquito difícil. Un poquito difícil. Puedo, puedo bastante bien ent entender. Puedo leer. Um, uh, puedo hablar, pero no es perfecto. Um, Joy soy Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> sí. Okay. So are you prepared for the grind of running for president? I think so. We've come this far. I mean, right. it's, been, uh, it's been a grind since we got in, but it's, it's fun, too. How do you decompress from mm -hmm. all the... Talking to people What's and shaking hands Mayor and Pete kissing babies. What's the self care plan? Um, pedicures. I, I love pedicures. Yeah, I don't know. I, I find it like socially challenging to have somebody like rubbing your feet. You know what? You get used to it. You get used to it. <laughs> it, it, it just tip really well. No, right, if you have nice so. feet, you're, you're even better off. Because yeah. I have very bad feet. I got like medium feet. So. Medium feet. Yeah, so you're good. Right. Are you willing to expose your feet on camera to the American public? I'm not sure America's ready for my feet. Okay. <laughs> all right, now we're all millennials. Why are people hating on us millennials? I feel like we're, we're more like senior millennials, because when I got to college, there was no social media, there was no YouTube, there was no TikTok. smartphones, was and by bad. the time I was done being a student, there was all of those things, yeah. right? Um, How did that change? I mean, our, our generation invented a bunch of that stuff, right? Yeah, social yeah. media for better and for worse. Mm -hmm. So Mayor Pete is saying we are now the greatest generation. That's right. I think we could be the greatest generation. Absolutely. I like that. They just got to put us in charge of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Take that, boomers. <laughs> All right. If you, fingers crossed, if you become president, you would be the first gay president. Yeah. Did you ever see yourself being in this situation? Or do you think someone else would have done it no, before I mean, you? Or I, what's the I pressure was, like? When I was growing up, I felt like you could either be out and gay or you could be in elected office. You couldn't be both. Right. That's not where I came from. Things are changing, though, really quick. I mean, you know, again, I live in Indiana. When I came out, Mike Pence was the governor. Right. And it was a re-election year. We didn't know what was going to happen. I was just ready. I want to get on with my life, start dating. And I got re-elected with 80% of the vote. So if you give people a chance to do the right thing or to look past labels and, and evaluate you for who you are, uh, I think more often than not, uh, people will do it. Um, but uh, you, you know, I definitely hear from a lot of people just talking about what it means to them. Yeah. Me and Pete, we're gonna close it out with a traditional uptown tradition. Uptown tradition. You know what oh, I'm saying? All right. You're out here, you're hood certified, you're uptown certified, you're with right. the Bodega Boys. 
You know, they say in New York City you're not allowed to have a thing called open containers, but apparently if you put a alcoholic beverage inside a brown bag, the cops don't see it. They don't, and it's good. It's kind of, you know, you're a and military guy. Look. It's the fog of war. All right. I don't know if you want to sip around. Come here more often. You know, let's see. Like, don't let the kids see. All right. When in Salud. Room. Salud. Salud. That's what we say on time. All right. Dale con todo, papi. Keep it low in case mm. cops come they be tripping at the end of the month, bro. You know what I'm saying? Quotas. Yeah. 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 I'm there for you. I'm too proud of you. Uh, we out here. You know what I'm saying? Thank me with this. You know what it is. Bodega Boys, me and Pete in the building. We're about to go get more hookah.